Getting into prison is easy. Getting out of prison, also easy. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Uh, a couple months ago, we made an episode about the most luxurious prisons in the world, and after watching that uh, and the new season of Orange is the New Black, you might think, prison's cool, man. I wanna go, let me commit a crime because it's so cool, I wanna be there. But you know what? Real prison is a horrible place to be, and people are constantly trying to get up out of that thing. Yeah, even last month, I mean, the two guys in New York who got out with the help of the, uh, the prison tailor. Oh, yeah. Which they have a prison tailor, they which need is one for which the is suits, okay. The they, they had that, and she was in on it. All right, uh, but that got us to thinking. Uh, let's do a little boop, 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 research and find the most amazing prison escapes in history, and these are the ones that we found. Choi Gapbach, I call the amazing shrinking man. This dude was in uh, Korea, fifty-year-old dude, uh, in and out of prisons for twenty-three years finds himself in a holding cell, 10 by 10 cell in Korea, okay. and he did yoga in oh, his cell. Good that was his, You know, a lot of people do pull-ups, they bulk up, bad idea. Yoga turns out to be a good idea. 10 by 10 cell, not only enough room to do like a downward facing dog, but also to do what I call the escaping man pose. Oh. I learned this from him. Uh, here are the steps you to this one. straight? No, I'm just gonna tell you. Oh, good, um, I'll picture it. Step one, wait for the three guards to go to sleep. Step two, use body ointment and slather your whole body in it. Where do you get body ointment? You ask. Is that a thing? You ask the guards before they you go. You guys to got any body sleep. ointment? I don't, I don't want my phone call. I want body ointment. Yes, and they gave it to him. Oh. We're like, well, What's he gonna do with the ointment? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> but give it to He's him. He's got a rash, right? right yeah. So uh, then they go to sleep. Step two, he slathers himself. Step three, he squeezes himself through the food slot. Oh no. You know where Sorry. they slide the food into? Yeah, I do. The slot. I've seen the movies. Uh, it is, it was, um, how, it was 18 inches wide, but it was only six inches tall. And I mean, doctors were, couldn't believe this because they said, well, the, the typical skull is is bigger than six inches. He Dude, has an atypical skull. He had to shrink his whole head. It's a yoga skull. So he put, he, he yoga his head through there and then he gets one shoulder and the other shoulder and then his lower body, like his pelvis got stuck and he had to take his shorts off oh. in order to get out. But he did it all in under a minute. They were quoted as saying, as saying he escaped from the prison cell in less than a minute after moving flexibly like an octopus. That ointment. They weren't equals watching octopus. But, right, octopus ointment. No, I don't think about that. <laughs> but they're slippery, you know. Um, six days later, they caught him on an apartment building. I guess he was just up there slathering himself again and doing <laughs> yoga. Like that's ready. how. That's how I picture it. And they put him in a cell with a 4.3 inch high okay. food slot. He's not getting out of that. Not not gonna He's happen. He's trapped. Not gonna happen. <laughs> okay. Escape from Alcatraz, great movie, 95% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh. This story's so good, there's yeah. a movie about it, uh, starring Clint Eastwood. Anyway, 1962, three bank robbers, Clarence Anglin, John Anglin, their brothers, and Frank Morris have been planning their escape for months. These guys decide on June 11th, 1962, all right, we've been planning for months, let's do it, it's go time. They break out their drill that they have made from a vacuum that they have commandeered. Wow. And they get into the vents in their cell and they drill out into, I don't know how they knew about this, a utility corridor that was behind the cells that no one knew about. And once they get into the utility it's corridor. Smart, because they could keep working on it, then put the vent back on and right. go back to sleep. And once they get into the utility cor corridor, they're able to, escape with their six by 14 foot raft that they made out of raincoats. Because apparently there's raincoats in jail. <laughs> these, these dudes are. <laughs> hey, you guys got your rain boots and your raincoats? Uh, and body ointment too, I bet you they had some of that. And of course, you know, Alcatraz is an island. It's a, it, There's nobody at it anymore. Uh, there's nobody it's in prison. Tourists are there now. Uh, but the whole idea was well, you can't really get, you can't really escape from it because of the crazy cold, waters mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm. turbulent cur currents. Right. So once you kind of get out of the building, you can get down to the water. They get down to the water with their raincoat raft and they Amazing. inflate it with an accordion. You can also get an accordion in Alcatraz. How do you, how do you get it? You think we should give these guys an accordion? And, and, and what the, are they gonna do, blow up a raft? <laughs> and on, on the, <laughs> give it to them, on there's the night, no place music. On the night out, they're there and they're thinking, do you hear folk music? <laughs> Sounds like polka, yeah, like a slow polka. Maybe it's just in our heads. 
What's that raft? Okay, anyway, they Yee-haw! use the accordion. They pump up the raft. Now, it's disputed whether or not these guys survived because people say, oh, they drowned. But there's been some recent studies done that show that if they left at the time that it's, they supposedly left around midnight, the okay. currents would probably have been right to get them to the shore. And their family has claimed that they have stayed in contact with them, which gives me the idea that these guys, the Anglin brothers and Frank Morris, might be out there right now watching Good Mythical Morning like a great mythical beast would. Guys, if you're okay, Send us a postcard. Yeah. Or come be on the show. We yeah. don't care. We won't tell anybody that it's yeah, you. We're not going to show your postcard. You can to come anybody. on as like ornithologist or something, and we'll do like an expert segment. Our mailing address is in the video description. Yeah. Uh, German prison of war camp um, during World War II. We're talking 1944. Um, 76 inmates orchestrated this great escape, which actually was adapted into the movie of, oh, the, of the same name. You got a movie too? 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. Not as good. Didn't beat your, yours out. Um, this prison that they were in was specifically designed to deter tunneling out mm. because it was it, they had loose soil and they put microphones down to detect any digging. Oh, Because they, they just had a sense that people were gonna try to tunnel out. That was the only way out, they I guess. They will dig. But 600 prisoners band together to start digging a tunnel 30 feet deep, guys, to, in order to get around the microphone's oh. ears. Yeah, not the, just one microphone tunnel. microphone ears. Not just one We've tunnel. We've got to avoid the microphone ears. Not just two tunnels, three different tunnels. Um, they put a railway system down in there, electric lighting. This was, a, this was an undertaking of, it was a great undertaking. It was a great escape, a great right? Escape. Great escape. Um, they were, they, Ingenuitive in all the ways they removed the dirt back out, including they put the dirt in their uh, extra socks, put the socks up their pants, and then as they walked around in the prison yard, the the dirt would trickle out. Is that a sock full of dirt, or are you just happy to see me? (laughs) Listen to the things that over time they took out of the prison and started to use in the making and the support of uh, the tunnels. 90 beds, 52 tables, 34 chairs, 10 single tables, 76 benches, 30 shovels, 1,000 foot of electric wire, 600 feet of rope, 1,700 blankets, and 1,400 milk cans went missing. Where's all the blankets? <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that, that. Where's the milk cans? It's good not to find you. Uh, 1,700 blankets? These Nazis weren't very good at keeping up with stuff, man. They also didn't notice on the day of the escape that the first 75 men who popped out at the other end of the tunnel, but they finally noticed the 76 man coming up and they recaptured um, they recaptured 73 of them. Only three people ended up escaping, a huh. Norwegian pilot and a Dutch pilot. Well, good for those guys. But that, but it, it made a great movie too, and uh, you got to feel for those people who got recaught. Okay, so so far on this recaught. list, everyone has done a typical thing to get out of prison, and they've ignored the largest way out of a prison: the sky over it. But not Pascal Paillet, French criminal. 2001. This guy is in a maximum security prison. His buddies build a rocket. Bring a helicopter. It's so obvious. Bring a helicopter. Land it in the prison yard. He gets on it and. Helicopters away. This worked so well that he decides two years later, you know, let's go break out our other three friends that are in that prison in another helicopter. He goes back and gets his three buddies. The same prison? Same prison. The one with the opening for the helicopter. The sky opening? The one with the sky over it. Right. (laughs) Uh, And so uh, he ends up up getting caught. It's so simple. Unfortunately, he gets out, but he ends up shortly after after that getting caught and they put him back in prison, and then in, in 2007. Did on, that one have a sky? Uh, yes, it also had a sky, and four of his buddies, I don't know, his buddies are really good at hijacking helicopters. I wouldn't even know how to go about that, but we'll talk later and figure that out. Uh, they hijack Is, a helicopter. They're gonna send us postcards too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they land, pick him up, take him off into the sunset, Unfortunately, he's only out for two months this time. I, I, I don't know why I want this guy to succeed because he's because he's a helicopter <laughs> escape artist. Yeah, man. I, I would. I want to take like a Hawaiian helicopter tour with this guy. You know, well, you got to start in a prison. hijacked helicopter. Uh, I, I'm sure that can be arranged. Uh, so he's currently in prison, and I would just I'm going to give some uh, some advice to you if you're running this prison that Pascal is in. Just paint like one of those sky ceilings on his cell like you see in like a fancy dentist office. Like a fresco? make him feel like he's outside. A dentist office fresco? But don't let him go outside. No, or maybe put no, like a ball around him or something. Do this. Like ball and chain. Um, 
really taught him like paint like a helicopter landing. Oh, a video. Put a video on Scream. his ceiling of, con of helicopter constantly landing. It's like, he's just. It's his torture. <laughs> it's, like it's, it's like the ladder's dangling, it's getting so close. Uh, congratulations, uh, Pascal, for doing that. Sorry that you're in there uh, in the joint now. You know what, I'm gonna open it up. If you've ever escaped from prison in any form, <laughs> send us a postcard. Please. Uh, we wanna be the repository for prison escapee uh, postcards. Only if you're currently on the run, though. If you escaped later in life and now you're like a, be just a regular civilian, we're not interested. Be sure to include current whereabouts. Thanks for liking and commenting on this video. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Samantha. And I'm Sophia. And we're from South Bend, okay. Indiana. It is time to spin the wheel of mythicality. VidCon is next week, and if you can't make it there, you can keep up with all the stuff that we're doing there by following us on Snapchat, Real Rhett Link. And if you are at VidCon, you can benefit in some interesting ways by following our Snapchat. Real Rhett Link! Click Snapchat! Through, click through to Good Mythical More. Rhett's got a story of his dad being attacked by a female prisoner. Only speak using words that start with letter P. Please pretend pies push people past pretend, per, did you already say pretend? Pretend, <laughs> pretend place. I only know three words that start with P. Please pretend pies push people past pretend places. Uh, please do that. Thank you. I'm not making this up. My dad doesn't make stories up like this. And he started to take his sweater off, and when he got it above his head, my dad beat the crap out of him. <laughs>